Hello guys, this is Asharam and in this video I'll discuss the solution of tree difference problem of cold chef May lunchtime 2020. So in this problem you are given a tree with n nodes numbered from 1 to n and for each valid i there is a node so node i has a value ai and you have to answer q queries so in these queries you are given two nodes a and b and you have to find the so when you move from a to b there will be some path and the path will be sequence of the node values so you have to find the minimum value of ax minus ay in that path for some pair x comma y and x is not equal to y okay so yeah let's try to solve this problem so one thing which is important is important to note is ai is less than equal to 100 so now let's divide this problem into two cases so first case is let's say the path length between a and b so okay let me write it here so path length a comma b is greater than equal to greater than 100 so path length of a comma b is greater than 100 and we know that there is only 100 distinct values of ai so there is only 100 distinct value of ais and we have number of nodes between a and b greater than 100 so you can say that so this is less than equal to 100 okay so you can say that the value of at least two nodes will be same so let's say if the the path length is, path length is 101 and initial 100 nodes have value values from 1 to 100 then the 100 first node should have value from 1 to 100 and in that case that value will repeat so in that case minimum difference will be 0 so in that case in this case we'll simply print 0 so minimum difference is so ax minus ay minimum is 0 so the second case So we have second case that is path a comma b is less than equal to 100 in that case let's say let's see what we have to do so let's say so first of all we have to construct a label array height array that is on which level is this node so we can do this directly using our DFS okay it's quite simple so this is our label 0 this is our level 1 this is our level 2 this is our level 3 and this is our level 4 and this is our level 5 and okay and we so this is we have to store this in label so here label i denotes the height the level of this ith node and we have to construct another array that is parent of i so the parent of i is the parent of the ith node so parent of 4 is 2 parent of 6 is 3 parent of 9 is 7 okay so we need these two arrays and we can do it easily by using dfs and so let's see so now let's say you want to go to 11 from 11 to 5 okay so what will you do so you will go to from 11 to you will go to parent of 9 then you will go to parent of 7 sorry parent of 9 that is 7 then you will go to parent of 7 that is 4 then you will go to parent of 4 that is 2 and now from here you will go to parent of that is you will go from parent from 5 to parent of 2 so now okay so we will go to 5 from 2 so now you can see that you can also think it is like this so suppose so we have to move from 11 will first move from 11 to 4 that is we have to make the level of both the nodes equal so if both level of both the nodes are not equal then we'll make them equal by going that is the that is will move upwards from the higher level node until the level of both the nodes become equal so you can see that 
so our sequence is generating as follows a11 a9 and then you have a7 then you have a4 so now when the level of both the nodes become equal so now it's pretty simple you have to just move both the nodes simultaneously so you'll move 4 and 5 simultaneously until both become equal so in that in this case they are becoming equal in first attempt so we move a4 to a2 so we have to a2 and we move a5 to a2 so now you don't need to include this multiple double time okay so we'll cross it so we are not including it so our sequence is a11 a9 a7 then you can go a2 and then a5 so let's try to apply this formula for sorry this method for 10 to 6 that is we are going from 10 to 6 so let me erase this root first okay wait tools then i have eraser and delete strokes so i'll delete it okay so now we have to move from 10 to 6 so what we'll do is we'll first move from 9, 10 to parent of 10 that is 9 then parent of 9 then parent of 7 so then our labels are then our labels have become equal so we'll write the sequence okay so the sequence is a10 a9 a7 a4 okay and now you can see that our path is so our remaining path left is 4 2 1 and 6 3 1 that is parent of 4 parent of 2 and then 1 that is until both of them becomes equal okay so yeah and so then we'll ignore this that is we are we, we don't have to include it multiple times so in that case this is a4 and then a2 a, a1 a3 a6 so this is a2 a1 and then from reverse side it is a6 and then it is a3 so now you can see that our path length is less than 100 so you can you can easily find the max references in o of 100 time okay so you can do it by hashing or whatever method you you want okay so yeah so yeah that's it guys for now i'll try to i'll update the link for code in the description later on uh, until then you can check out the editorial so, because this explanation explanation is similar to editorial okay so thank you